Well, Apple is opening the doors of its overseas factories to outside monitors. The announcement follows criticism of conditions and a series of suicides amongst workers. Apple has been under fire from some people who say overseas workers work extreme hours and accuse some factories of using underage labor. In China in particular, many employees live in cramped dorms inside the plants. Skateboards have got a futuristic upgrade. Have a look at this. A longboard that is powered by voice and hand movement has hit the streets. A group of tech wizards took a motorized longboard and kitted it out with a Microsoft Connect, a Samsung Windows 8 tablet with voice control and some big tires. Even the worst skaters might not be so bad with this board. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a spaceship. Parts of a Russian spacecraft have fallen back down to Earth, but no one knows where they landed. The unmanned Mars Moon probe had been stuck in the Earth's orbit for two months after a failed launch. Russian officials have said that fragments of the 130 million euro spacecraft fell into the Pacific Ocean, but nothing has been confirmed. Google is making maps fun. The search engine has turned its maps into a 3D maze game in order to promote Google+. The game comes out next month and appears similar to On the Ball. Facebook was hugely successful at incorporating games into its social network, and it's thought Google wants to do the same with Google+. One Olympic athlete has taken to eBay to sell ad space on his body. Nick Simmons plans to turn his body into a moving billboard in time for the Games this summer. He set up an eBay auction, offering the highest bidder the chance to put a Twitter name on his shoulder for a year. His biceps don't come cheap. The winning bid was over $11,000. And that's you up to date with everything that's buzzing today.